Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving on the Highway 2000 East West Leg and this is a section that runs from Maypen to Mandeville. Now, have you ever stopped to wonder who is going to collect the toll on this road? So this is a toll road. It's under construction. It's going to finish in August of this year. The, the road actually runs from Kingston. It's to run from Kingston to Montego Bay. It's Highway 2000 East West Lake. And the section from Maypen to Mandeville is being built. That's the section we're driving on now. And have you ever wondered who is going to collect the toll? It's, there are two companies in Jamaica that collect toll, Trans Jamaica Highway and Jamaica North South Highway Company. So the answer is, it's going to be the Jamaica North South Highway Company. Now, this road currently runs from Kingston to Maypen and Trans Jamaica Highway collects the toll for that section and that will continue. But the section from Maypen to Mandeville, it's the Jamaica North South Highway Company that's going to collect the toll. So let's go through how this happened. Now, when Highway 2000 was envisioned, it was to build two highways, one from Kingston to Montego Bay and one from Kingston to Ocho Rios. So because of the costs associated with building these highways, it was decided it would be split up into pieces. So phase one included building 32.9 kilometers of road from Kingston to Sandy Bay. Phase, and that was phase 1A also include building the Kingston to Portmore Road, which was 6.5 kilometers. And then phase 1B was to build 10.5 kilometers of road from Sandy Bay to Maypen. Now, phase 1C was to build 28 kilometers of road from Maypen to Williamsfield. Now, phase 2, a or phase two had two sections. Phase two A was to build a road from Kingston to Ocherios, which was 66 kilometers. And phase two B was to build a road from Williamsfield to Montego Bay, which would be 80 kilometers. So that is Highway 2000 in summary. Those are the sections. So the section Okay, before we get to that. Now, a French company won the bid to build Highway 2000, Bogues, and they were in partnership with another company, Vinci something or the other, another French company. So basically, they teamed up and were building the highway. Bogue would build the highway and Vinci had more experience in running toll plazas and those kind of things. So they... The agreement was they would build a highway, operate the highway, and the government would give them a concession to collect toll on the highway and pay back for the cost of building the highway. So Trans Jamaica Highway Limited was created to build the highway and to collect the toll. So Trans Jamaica Highway got the concession to collect toll on the road. So they built phase one, which is the 32.9 kilometers from Kingston to Sandy Bay. That leg is up and running. You have a toll plaza at Vineyards. And when you get the receipt, look at the name on it. It says Trans Jamaica Highway. And they also built the Kingston to Portmore Road, which is 6.5 kilometers. And they have a toll plaza. It's called the Portmore Toll Plaza. And when you get the receipt, look at it. It says Trans Jamaica Highway. Now, they also built the Sandy Bay to Maypen leg of the highway. And you have a toll plaza at Maypen. And that receipt says Trans Jamaica Highway Limited. Now, though after that section was built to Maypen, Trans Jamaica Highway did not build any more highways. It was China Harbor Engineering Company who came in 
and built the Spanish town to Ocho Rios leg of the highway. And that's phase 2A, Spanish town to Ocho Rios, 66.9, 66 66.1 kilometers. And they set up a company called the Jamaica North South Highway Company. And that company was given a concession to collect the toll on the road. Now, the French company, Trans Jamaica Highway, they had first right to build the, the entire highway, but they gave it up. They said, thanks, but no thanks, we're not interested. And they also gave up the right to Section 1C, which was a May pen to Williams Field like the highway, which is the highway we're looking at now. This is the highway that's under construction. So the French company did not build this highway. They did not pay for it. And so that is why the Jamaica North South Highway Company, which is the Chinese company, got the concession because Jamaica Highway, Trans Jamaica Highway, sorry, declined and said, we have first right based on the agreement we signed, but we do not want it. We're passing on it. So that is why section 1C from May Penn to Williamsfield, they're going to pay a toll to the Jamaica, the, the French company, basically. Not sorry, the, Sp the French company, the Chinese company, Jamaica North South Highway Company. And the section of the highway now, which is section 1C that we're driving on, is the May Penn to Williamsfield leg. So, to summarize now, phase one, which is Kingston basically to Sandy Bay and then Sandy Bay to Maypen, you pay toll to Trans Jamaica Highway. The Kingston to Port Morleg, you pay the toll to Trans Jamaica Highway. Now the Spanish town to Ocho Rios leg, you pay the, the toll to Jamaica North South Highway Company. And then phase one C, Maypen to Williamsfield, same thing, Jamaica North South Highway Company. Now, the 80 kilometers of road to be built from Williamsfield to Montego Bay, which is phase 2B, that section of the road, they announced it the other day that it's going to start after, sometime this year, after the Williamsfield section is finished. That will also be a concession agreement. And although it hasn't been formally announced, it will be the Jamaica North South Highway Company, a Chinese company, because China have an engineering company, is going to build a road. I don't know if they have officially been given a contract, if it has been signed, but we all know it's going to be China Harbor Engineering Company. So basically, that is why that is what's happening with the toll roads in Jamaica. And we have another video up on Trans Jamaica Highway as to who owns it. Very interesting video. You should watch it. All right, guys. Thanks for taking the tour with us. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, leave your comments in the section below. Have a good day.